Bismillah. So this is Imam Walid Hakim, and I'm here from the Haram, third day after the closure. And by now, I learned the, the pattern. So basically, every day, the Haram is open from Fajr to Isha. And then from after Isha until Fajr, it is closed to be completely sanitized. So it's being sanitized every single night. And I think, subhanAllah, that's a very good move. Now, a lot of people are panicking and saying, if there is no tawaf anymore, isn't this one of the signs of the Day of Judgment? First of all, we don't have evidence. And second, as I mentioned to you earlier, there is 40 times in history where the Haram was shut down without Umrah, and that's from 865 until the last time, 1987. Yeah? In 865, what happened? There was a massacre where a man, his name is uh, Ismail ibn Yusuf al Alawi. He came to the Hajj and he killed thousands of people here. So the Hajj and the Tawaf stopped in the Kaaba. And then one of the most famous incidents in history happened in the year nine, nine, 930, and it was the Qalamita. The Qalamita are an extremist subgroup from the Shia, and they declared that the, uh, going around the Kaaba that this is the Tawaf, this is a pagan tradition, and it is idol worshiping. That's what they claimed. So they came here trying to destroy it. And in fact, they were able to take the black stone. They stole it and it remained with them for 22 years. It remained to them where? In the east part of Saudi Arabia today, it's called al Qatif. And subhanAllah, when they did this, uh, oddly enough, they started to practice what they were warning from. They tried to build an alternative Kaaba and asking people to do Hajj there, and people did not listen to them. Until at the end, subhanAllah, it was bought back for a very hefty amount of gold and put back again in the Kaaba. And by that time, there was seven pieces broken from the black stone, so they are put back together, and they're still put back until this day in the same way here in the black stone. Another time, important time in history that the, the uh, Umrah stopped in the Masjid al-Haram, that happened in the year 1258. If you remember, that's the year the Mongolians went into the capital of the Muslim world, Baghdad, and killed two million people. And they also threw 500,000 books in the river, and they killed the Khalifa of the Muslimin. That year was so chaotic because of the Mongolians and them killing Muslims, so there was no one coming for Umrah or Hajj at that time. And then also, what about uh, pandemics and diseases? In 1814, the plague, uh, it spread over here around the, the, uh, in Hijaz, in the region around the Haram, and more than 8,000 people died, and as a result, the Haram again was shut down in 1814. And also in 1831, something similar happened, a disease uh, that came from India. It also made the Hajj stop. In fact, three quarters of the people who came to Hajj, they died that year from that disease. May Allah have mercy on them. In 1892, also the cholera, you know, the cholera, that uh, contagious disease, it spread among the Hujjaj and the bodies were so much that they were actually piled like hills around the Haram. Could you imagine that, subhanAllah? And then in, eight, in 1987, the last time uh, a pandemic happened near the Haram, it was a meningitis that spread to 10,000 people. And as a result, there was a temporary shutdown to, to, uh, so that the disease would not spread further. So understand this and many other uh, events that this may happen from time to time. And really, we should, of course, we should be, uh, generally speaking, repentant to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we should not start spreading rumors that the Day of Judgment is coming or anything like that or scaring people. This may happen from time to time. This is the Sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is times also when a fire happened in the Haram. There was times when there was expansions in the Haram and there was a temporary stop for people coming in. And also in Madinah Munawwara, the Rawda of the Prophet is closed uh, right now as well. And as we said, this is all temporary so that inshallah, by the time Ramadan comes, perhaps we have a clearer picture. Perhaps the vaccines have developed. The virus, maybe because it gets warmer, it stops uh, spreading. Allahu A'lam. But inshallah, I just wanted this to inform you and calm you down. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to heal all the sick people, to protect us from this virus, and to make us from the visitors who come to this holy mosque. Jazakum Allah khair.